Did you hear him say in that video, did you hear him say in that video, it felt good? <laughs> I, I, I lost my mind. I knew what I did at the time was wrong. And uh, when I said it felt good, it was, what felt good was the time that she laughed in our face. And I just told my wife, can you go upstairs for a minute? And I just, I grabbed her by the neck, held her against the wall, mumbled something about disrespecting the family, and then I smacked her. <laughs> I, I, felt, I, I know I shouldn't have done it, and then how I felt I knew was wrong. And he sends you upstairs and you just go. What are you, a Stepford wife? <laughs> you got a wide-eyed man standing there, frustrated, upset. She's laughing in his face. He sends you upstairs, so you just toddle off. I have a big sidewalk. <laughs> I have a sidewalk while we're trying to deal with Valencia all the time. Valencia takes up so much time that at times I really do feel like our other kids are neglected. <laughs> You, you scared me. There's seven other children in this home, right? Right. Yes, there is. I, I'm horrified. <laughs> that, that you have seven other children in that home. We don't. And you're beating one of them. You're beating one of the eight and telling me it feels good. You're saying get down in the basement so I can beat you so the other seven don't see it. That means, well, you're, that means you're planning ahead. No, you're, I don't want to. I, I, I want her to be punished because she's... There's nothing left. That's to, not there's nothing punishment. Left to take. That is criminal abuse. Listen, she doesn't follow groundings. I literally, I go to the bathroom and she takes off. We don't see her for three weeks. How you is don't that? get it. No, no, no. I get it. No, you don't get it. Because every time I talk about that, you go give me some reason that this is a chaotic and frenetic situation. And given that frame, Dr. Phil, need help. perhaps it will make sense. We why he's help. beating our daughter in the face and punching her in the stomach. <laughs> I smack my kids, my little kids. That's the only thing I've ever done. Like if they're doing something And now I have a 16-year-old whom I've admitted on national television I, I, on at least four occasions. I've smacked her numerous times in the face. <laughs> There's no excuse for it. You couldn't drive her more into the arms of this guy than if you were chasing her with a stick towards his house. You don't know You're going to lose your daughter, and if you keep this up, you're going to lose the other seven. Mm -hmm. Because they will take them and put them in foster care because of what you're doing if you don't stop this and stop it now. <laughs>